Hey, how's it going boys? What is up, Soros? Back once again for another character impressions. Now we are introduced with a new Silver this time because of that new event. She has a new costume, new outfit, whatever, and part of like the play the part of the the story mentioned she changed her clothes, then I guess she got a got herself a new version, because why why not, right? Reasons. <laughs> okay. So Straps around her, she looks great, and then she became a fucking insane looking sniper in the second art, which is actually pretty damn cool, I would say. And uh, yeah, so she's she's still attack based, she's light now, her attack stat is pretty relative high, bleh, relatively high, specialty is a gun, yeah, no shit. Okay, so her first skill is, I mean, first skill, her ogi is called Zerk, 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 Zerk. Zeruk shot. Massive light damage to a foe. Boost specs against foes with weak point effect. What's this? Boost take uh, damage taken is boosted based on number of debuffs. Okay, sure. Um gain 200%, 200%, 20%! Reading is very hard for me apparently. Oh boy, reading! Jesus Christ. Invisible Hawk is the first one. First skill cooldown is 9 turns, duration is 5 turns. Gain into hiding. Won't be targeted by a foe's one ally attack. Duration is 5 turns, sure. Gain 75% crit. Wow. What's base accuracy? Why is that base accuracy? What? How, how can you... Oh, 70% chance to get 75% attack up? Is that it? What? Oh, okay. It sounds- the, the wording was a little bit weird for me then. 40% <laughs> Ogi cap? Wow! 30% uplift, holy shit. Self-inflict 50% defend down rip. But that's only like what? 4 turns downtime? Jeez, okay. Second skill is Insight. I notice all of her skill icons are unique. I don't think we have ever seen these icons before, so that's nice. New icons is always nice. Insight is 5 turns cooldown, 3 turns duration, inflict, 30% attack down, 30% defend down, and weak point to a foe. 3 turns. So Ogi gives 1 turn. Oh no, Ogi is just boost. Boost Ogi. Whenever there's this in okay, so skill skill, skill two is the only one that that inflicts that weak point thing. Okay. Okay, we don't know what is the the base accuracy of that, right? Supposedly to be high, I guess. Blind spot. Blind spot is the third skill. Radius in five turns. Cooldown is nine turns. Duration is three turns. Switch out with the sub ally. Provide backup fire to the subject ally. Oh, this is similar as uh the water version, isn't it? Oh. Okay, so the passive is Spotter, 3% boost to light characters, critical Wow! Critical hit damage cap? Oh, wait, that can miss? <laughs> this can miss? <laughs> okay, what? Okay, bullet burst, 200% bonus light damage to a foe upon the chain burst ascension when Silva is a sub ally. That third skill is like the. Oh, really? I, I thought it was like 100% or something, so there's a chance for it to fail. <laughs> I mean, I don't use. I don't have Silva yet, so. Gameplay notes. Okay. Inside, weak point counts towards the total number of debuffs. So, you, how much damage can you do? Based on how many debuffs are there. I'm assuming it's also because that if you have song you do a little bit better, I would assume. Oh, you mean this one? Oh this can miss, yeah, I mean that's kinda obvious, right? Okay. Ascension is a four chain light elemental chain burst. Bonus light damage is based on the stats of the main character. Hmm. 
Okay, so her EMP has... Oh. Wow, EMP is not bad. Very similar as there's water, I think. Her EMP. Crit damage, crit cap. I mean, Ogi damage and Ogi cap up, yeah. Slightly different. Charge bar instead of dodge. Two crits, but this now she has three crits. Oh, okay. Damn, not bad, not bad. That's actually pretty good EMP, honestly. Plus she has 20% uplift as well, then adds another 10%. So she has 30% uplift, isn't it? When you activate her first skill. I wonder if you can actually remove this. Can you remove this? I mean, it doesn't look like you... You can't, right? Doesn't look like you can't remove this, isn't it? Just look like something that you can remove. Right? You can? Okay. Then yeah, then that, that is fine. Because actually 50% defense down is a lot. Oh, okay. I'm just saying, fucking teacup, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's not like everyone uses her for fucking Suyo Bahas or whatever. <laughs> okay, um... So... One, two, three, four, five. Hmm, that's a lot of thing to level. A lot of things to level. This is a must. This I would say is a must as well. So just so she can ogi a lot more often. Then uh, even with with lesser aggro, you still get hit no no matter what. So <laughs> crit seems like a must though. I mean, she does have a crit rate up too. I think it'll make it even better if you have crit. But I do feel like it's better to put some points into Ogi damage as well. Oh, either way, it's a really good set amount of uh, EMP nonetheless. Good EMP. She looks like a very, very good uh, character to have. In mechanic. <laughs> yeah. Didn't we just have like a very good light character a while ago? That boosts mechanic stuff even. Not to mention one char uh, a certain character was recently buffed as well. Man, I feel like light is gonna get like crazy. Very, very good. Uh... Auto bombing skills now. <laughs> Mains. Yeah, are they? Are they? Let me go check. They're guns too, isn't it? I know one of them uses guns, so. Where are they? Yeah, gun fist. This is good. Yeah, Robomi is the one. Robomi is the other one. That is really good. Even the likes of Zoe is actually nice, but. I think for that setup. Yeah. Who else? Where's that guy? Yeah, this guy. This guy. If you have this guy. If you have Nari Summer, that will be even freaking better. Holy shit. The nukes that you can provide if you if you have her. And this guy. And if you use like the maids or whatever. <laughs> That is freaking awesome, man! Mechanic stuff for light turned out to be even stronger now because of her. <laughs> Damn! But she does look like a nice character to have though. She has nice... Uh, she has nice debuff too, even though that's kind of like local. But this is only to herself, right? Yeah, that's only to herself. 
Uh, but she gets this. But she needs to be in a sub ally. So technically, she can just sub uh sub fairy in or something, which still helps. So mech the 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 whole mechanic stuff is still okay. Locus is already ten. <laughs> Such a selfish motherfucker, man! This decon, Jesus Christ. <laughs> But yeah, 30% is really strong though. 30% <laughs> is really strong. Hmm. She is really a nice looking character in my opinion. Even like uh How do I say this? Just because she's a gun user. It's more like just because she's a gun user, she turns out to be a much better character, I would say. Seeing how like some people are actually using Ultima Gun these days for fire, you can actually use that for light now because there's quite a few gun users for light that is relatively useful. Like her now? I mean, she's a lot better now, not to mention Gun Zoe as well. Hmm, Ultima Gun with light, hey. <laughs> Ultima gun with light. Hmm. This is like a cool thing to do. <laughs> oh man. But she seems okay though. She's not really like super insane or anything. This is really nice. This is like well standard silver stuff honestly. The EMP is really good, but that's standard silver stuff too. <laughs> This is this is nice, but that's also standard Silva stuff. She's not really that much different from her her water counterpart either way. <laughs> I think her water counterpart is just a lot stronger <laughs> because of her you know level hundred stuff. The full limit break thingy. Yeah. People may actually use her in the front line because she can she can sub now. Because this thing is usually nice to have in shiny. Oh yeah, Christmas Mary as well. I forgot. Yeah, she's a good character too. Yeah, Christmas Mary is a good character as well. She's a really nice character, really. Yeah. It helps. Unless unless you're talking about 70 to 50, then yeah, it's a little bit hard for her. I don't think you you would want to use this during that time. You will want to swap out during that time, so yeah. So after after 50 you can bring her back and then you, during the the why call that the 50 to 30 thing is where you actually make use of this. In the likes of Shiny. Because is if you actually activate this, it seems very likely that you you won't get serious right during the the forty or fifty thingy whatever. So that helps as well. I think you, you, she's she does look usable in shiny. You just need to nuke anyway and then use this and stuff. Seems possible, yeah. But. Uh, <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, let's see. Okay. How should I rate her? I wouldn't exactly give her a 9.5 though. She looks like a 9.0 to me. Because uh, she's good and all, but I feel like that's quite a few things that you need to consider when you want to use her because it's not like anyone can just use her and then she you you can bring her to her fullest potential already so yeah i i probably just rate her a 9.0 she's a good character though she's a good character but there's a lot of things you need to take in consider just don't listen to that that stupid fucker up here just don't listen to him because he's a wailing piece of shit yeah okay 
very nice debuff. Really, really high. Um, very good set of skills, actually. Fortress downtime is not a lot, too. And this can be cleared, so that's good. Uh, this is really nice as well. Like, her, her skill set is really nice. Her passives is good. Her EMP is nice. But yeah, to keep in mind that a lot of things is not really, like, something that you can actually just make use of, especially when you're relatively uh, new to the game. Or even, like, you're, say, almost reaching to your mid, your mid game progression. You can probably make use of her already by then. But if you're... If you get her like right off the bat kind of thing, if she's your first light SSR, uh, you're probably gonna have a lot of problems then. Because it's not something that you can really just make use of that easily. So yeah, but regardless, the skill set is really nice. She can Ogi relatively fast because she has so much charge. She has her uplifting and all that stuff. She can do a lot of damage with her Ogi. She can... She can... Yeah, I feel like she has quite a bit of use no matter what. So definitely a 9.0 for me. She's still nice. Even though she's a 9.0, she's definitely not someone like... You can just... Oh, it's not 9.5 so you can just throw aside. No, that's not it. Because there's a lot of characters that are 9.0 to me that... Is still usable until today. It's more like... Put it this way. 9.0 characters is something that you still... You can use to this day. And make full use out of them. It's just that for me... I'll probably make like a, another video like explaining how I read things. 9.5 is usually the ones where you can just put them in and just they, they you can use them in any given situation. Like everything. She does not have that. It's not everyone can just make full use of her right off the bat kind of thing. That's the thing. Yeah. Only when it's like the terms when it goes down to 8.5 you, you, you probably start to reconsider things. Because 8.5s are usually not the super crazy ones. <laughs> when you get to the 10.0 yeah when you get to the 10.0 those guys are always like must be in there no matter what <laughs> like Kane exactly <laughs> yeah so she's definitely a good character definitely a good character she has like a lot of good stuff man and she's even better if uh I feel like she shines the most if you're using like the mechanic meme stuff or like because you have so many uh, choices now to make uh, for mechanic stuff to do one turn uh, Ogi stuff even better for the upper time torture room right <laughs> if you have her <laughs> if you have her and the likes of nice and all that shit or fairy whatever it makes it even better isn't it <laughs> It makes the torture room a lot more easier if you have characters like these. <laughs> oh man, so... Yeah, that's it for my impressions. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoy it. So do let me know in the comments below what you think about the character. Because I really do think she's a really good character and all that stuff. She does look really good too. God damn, look at, look at this man. So badass. Holy shit, I wish I had it. Oh well. Still have not gotten a single silver character by the way. Alright. <laughs> Anyway, I'm out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you hit the like button and ring that, that bell and subscribe and all that good stuff. So I uh, hope to see you guys on the next video or on the stream. Peace. That's a really wrong wrong time to crack my, my elbow a little bit. But uh, yeah. Bye. <laughs>